Today out at Earhart Environmental Magnet, we are hosting our first ever elementary only disc golf tournament. So we've got 43 uh, kinder through fifth graders from Earhart, surrounding Wichita Public Schools, even all the way from Oklahoma, who have shown up today to uh, compete in a little nine hole tournament on our course that we have here on campus. So this is actually my first year at Earhart um, and it was already planned and in the process of being installed uh, before I got here. Thankfully, we've got a really awesome PE program. Randy McVeigh and Megan Westfall both um, worked their behind off in coordination with our principal, Matt Malgett, to get the course installed. Um, and then from there, it's just grown. Uh, we, we decided in January when we were coming back after remote learning um, to, to start the club and we threw it out to fourth and fifth graders and we had over 30 kids sign up. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we get anywhere from 20 to 30 kids that come out and practice disc golf. It's pretty awesome. For me personally, it's just a passion that I have in my life. Um, being outside is something I've always loved. I love hiking. Um, hiking with a purpose is what I like to call disc golf. We're, we're in the woods. I like to say I like to go to the woods and throw plastic, um, which doesn't sound very environmental, but uh, there is actually a really strong strand of environmentalism within the disc golf community. Um, so when, I, when the marriage of disc golf and the environmental focus of our magnet school, when that was uh, presented as a possibility, again, it just seems like there's endless ways that we can connect the curriculum, the work that we're doing with our kids to the course. So we get outside, which is obviously the simplest way to practice environmentalism, but it's much more than that. I mean, we, we've got some pretty exciting partnerships that we're working on. The trophies for um, today's tournament were made from plastic that our kids recycled, sent to a guy who then turned them into plastic minis in his garage. He melted them down and turned them into uh, uh, minis with, uh, for us to hand out as our trophies for our tournament. A lot of exciting partnerships in the work. I think this is just the first of many really exciting things that we're going to be able to do with this awesome course and, and the fact that we have these uh, materials. But uh, we were awarded uh, a few weeks ago with a grant from the PDGA, which is the Professional Disc Golf Association. They selected 35 schools nationwide um, to receive a grant, and we received that grant. So we're going to receive over $800 worth of discs, and then um, there's a nonprofit called EDGE. Um, it's, I think it's called the Educational Disc Golf Experience. Um, and they're working on a national and global level to really incorporate disc golf into schools. And so they're gonna hook us up with their curriculum that we can then use to modify and adapt to the curriculum that our PE teachers are already using and find ways to plug it into the gen ed classroom. And then long-term our goal would be to, to use this as a model for other schools. Uh, we really believe that uh, this is an experience that kids should have and that this is a sport that is, the access is super easy. I mean, we've got kids five, six years old out here playing disc golf today. So um, yeah, it just fits. First elementary disc golf tournament in Wichita, first tournament at Earhart, and first tournament ace, John Keane, number eight, smooth little flip. John, how'd it feel? Lots of smiles, even through the mask, you can see the, the, the gleaming uh, in their eyes. And um, I have a daughter who's in kindergarten here at Earhart. And last night she said to me, I don't know, dad, I don't know if I wanna play. I'm a little bit nervous. And I said, well, let me tell you what's in the prize pack. So every kid got a disc, a voucher for another disc, uh, a mini marker, a backpack, a hammock. Um, and all of these things were supplied through the community. So just for showing up, um, they're getting a ton of swag and a really cool experience. And then beyond that, uh, there's, you know, huge crowds. I was joking with one of the other disc golfers. I've been to a few tournaments before and there's normally not, not this many spectators. So I think the kids are loving it. Uh, you can see the joy in their eyes and I think they're really having a lot of fun. And let's get a disc golf for life. Three, two, one. Thank you everyone. Have a beautiful Saturday. Happy Easter.